With head coach Ice Harris, we're out here at Booker T. Washington. State championship game coming up on Saturday against Bulls. Coach, a rematch of last year. What has to go differently for your team this year so you're getting the ultimate championship the way you want it and a victory against this team? One thing we have to do is stay away from penalties and uh, and don't turn the ball over. That's going to be one of the key issues. And do a better job on third downs. Offensively and defensively, we have to do a better job in those areas to put ourselves in position to have a shot. Earlier this season, you lost to Central. I know you had a good run over the summer with your 7-on-7 seven seven stuff. Uh, you made it to the state championship game a year ago. I, I know no coach likes to lose, but did that game help refocus your team? One thing we try to do here at Booker Washington, we try to make sure that when things don't happen according to plan, you lose one, you want to make sure that that loss, you know, helps you get better as an overall team, that you can be able to do the thing that you need to do, go back to the drawing board, and that's what we feel like we've done. You know, from last year, you know, in the all season, we worked well in the all season to put ourselves in position, and then the last 24 minutes of the Century game, we watched it as a team together to be able to really identify everybody was out there at that moment was playing 100%, and we found out that we wasn't, and that's when we found out at that point that we got to play a full game to be successful against top-rated teams around the country. What is going right for your team up until this point? Right now, what has been going right since that game as you sit on the verge of playing for a state championship? I think the first thing I'd like to say is the coaches, I think, doing a tremendous job on developing all our kids, coaching every kid that's in the program that's on the team. And our depth, we seem to get a lot better because we're dealing with injuries and any type of suspension that comes along. You know, we was able to make sure we put another individual in those spots and we will continue to do well with that so our depth has gotten better and that helped this team get better and we feel comfortable with our depth and putting us in position to be where we at now one position where your depth certainly has come into play is that been at the running back position an unfortunate loss of Devon Ballard in the earlier part of the season who was having a great year but you've had the depth there to overcome it and we're excited about that you know with Conjus Larry you know and and, and uh and Mark Walton, you know, being able to come in and step in as well, doing a tremendous job at that. So, you know, we feel good with our depth at running back, and we continue to keep rising to be able to, to do the things that we need to do to make sure that our running game go well, and that's that offensive line. Now, I think I have this right. 71 nothing, 57 nothing, and 41-13 in the first three games of the playoffs. Uh, the offensive numbers are impressive, but just as impressive as what your defense was doing pitching two shutouts. Why have they had so much success? I guess, our de you know, Coach Hanks has been doing a tremendous job on defense and making sure that the kids stay disciplined, stay at home, handling their responsibility, and, and, and creating turnovers. And that's one thing that we've been helping us well. We've been creating turnovers, and we've been able to score off of those turnovers that have been giving us a big margin of victory, and that's been helping us as well as scoring on special teams as well. Coach, this school means a lot to your family. It means a lot to this city. It means a lot to this area. How important would it be if you can allow yourself for just a second to think about winning another state championship here? I think it would be awesome, especially for our student athletes that, that do a great job, you know, coming to a historic school like Booker Washington with so much history and it means so much in the community of Overtown that that been through here through generations before we, all of us was born and the history that followed behind this great community. And we want to make sure that what these student athletes do and football, you know, really sets a positive tone for really what's happening to all the other bad things that may happen around us. And they're really setting everything up to make sure that the people on the outside see this community as a growing community that really setting up to have these kids have a fair shot at a great life when they get older. Coach, appreciate it, and best of luck Saturday. Thank you.